Hey there, sport. Hey, Dad. You can't say hello to your old man? What is this, the Middle Ages? Are we living in the wild, wild west, or what? I got a headache. Okay, then take some aspirin. It's report card day, right? Well... Oh, don't start lying. You already hesitated. If you're gonna lie, don't hesitate. I wasn't gonna lie. Nothing gets by Dad, detective. Nothing. Have you seen this? It's horrible. Look at it. Well, maybe he was just having a rough time last semester. Well, he was doing great until two months ago. Look. You made a line chart. A's and B's all the way until here. Now, C's and D's. So what happened two months ago? Washington residence, Sean speaking. Oh, perfect. Sean, listen, I'm calling about Kevin. Has anything happened to him in the last couple of months because he's been acting different lately? Moping around, getting these headaches, and really being kind of difficult. Hmm, I can't think of anything. Well, I wouldn't want you to rat on a friend, but this is kind of important. Is Kevin taking drugs? Are you kidding me? He got mad at me once for taking too many aspirin. Well, is there anything else you can think of? Anything that might have happened two months ago? I mean, he got Kevin a couple months ago, but he was totally fine. He got, he got what now? Our boy is becoming a man. What, what, what does that mean? Well, he got Kevin in soccer practice a couple of months ago. He got his clock cleaned so bad that apparently that's what they call it now. Is he all right? Did he have a concussion? What? Oh, no, he's fine. He just got dinged up a little bit. You know what? They didn't even take him out of the game. Okay, our son gets knocked around and you think that's all right? What is wrong with you? I'm calling the code. Oh, no, 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 come on. When I played football, I got hit like that tons of times. You stumble around a little bit, get a little woozy. I mean, it's no big deal. It is a big deal. There's been a lot about concussions on the news lately. It's not just when you black out. Yes, it is. You want to bet? Hello? Oh, Dr. Carver. Listen, I know it's late. I just... How'd you get this number? Do you know what time it is? I anyway, I was hoping you could just uh, settle a bet between my wife and me. Uh, it won't take more than five minutes, I promise. Anyway, here it is. The definition of a concussion is only when you black out, right? No! Perhaps he didn't completely understand the question. A concussion occurs any time a jolt causes a change in brain functioning. But if your head doesn't even take a hit, how can that be a concussion? It doesn't matter where you get hit if the force gets transmitted to the head. <sighs> so you can get hit in the shoulder, but if your head whips back, your brain's still sloshing up against the skull. <clears throat> Why are you asking? Oh, my son got laid out a couple of months ago, and his mom's worried about him. But you've got tests for that, too, right? They have tests now to measure the impacts of concussions, but they're not foolproof. In fact, I think a few of them you can tank on purpose, so you still have to keep a close watch on it. Mild repetitive blows to the head, they add up. Well, that's ridiculous. I mean, I took tons of hits when I was a kid, and I'm fine, right? Well, think of concussion like getting a sunburn. Does one sunburn mean you're going to end up getting skin cancer? No. But the more sunburns you get, the more likely you are that you will get cancer. So now you're telling me that I'm going to get cancer? No. But let me tell you a story. I used to go with my dad to get my hair cut, and there was always this guy shining shoes there. Always seemed kind of slow. One day my dad points out to me and says, you know who that is? About 10 years ago, that was the world middleweight boxing champ. Unbeaten for four years. Wow. I ask my dad, why is he shining shoes? And my dad points to his head and says, always take good care of your brain, Davey. Oh, there you are. Hey, li listen to these symptoms, OK? Headaches, dizziness, fatigue, irritability, depression, anxiety. What? Loss of concentration, intellectual difficulties, insomnia. I mean, come on. Does that sound like anybody? 
What, what, do you think our son has post-whatever syndrome or something? And, 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 have you heard of second impact syndrome? If you get hit again and you haven't healed from the first concussion, that could be it for you. And some kids never walk again. Oh. So you're saying you want our son to be a wimp and start playing sports? No. What I'm telling you is that these things that you're teaching him to jump back in there every time he gets knocked around, it, it's not tough, honey. It's stupid. It's not stupid. People who play games like this take hits like this all the time. I'm fine. What about your insomnia? I'm fine. Hey, sport, how are you feeling? I still got a headache. How come you didn't tell us you got hit really hard in practice? How'd you know about that? Sean told us. Sean wasn't even at practice today. You mean you got a concussion today? No, 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 I just, I got a little dizzy and my eyes kind of felt a little out of whack for a minute, but then it was fine. Honey, that is a concussion. What? Your mom's right. Gotta call the coach. He's gotta let us know every time our kid gets hurt. He doesn't know. What? I didn't want to get taken out because we got a big game coming up this Saturday. Look, son, I'm really glad you're that dedicated to your team. But when it comes to things like this, your head is much more important. You gotta look past this week's game and see all the games you wanna play in for the rest of your life. You need to tell your coach when you get hurt. All right? All right? Yeah. All right, okay, All right. whatever. Look, we're gonna talk about this more tomorrow. Jeez. Well, Thank you for talking to him. I'm gonna make an appointment with Dr. Carver. Well, just another day. Just another tough case solved by Dad Detective. This is serious, honey. Yeah. You know, some of these symptoms don't show up for like 15 years. That doesn't mean you have an excuse every time you start feeling cranky. Sorry for yelling. That's all right. 